In this video, we will walk through various tips, tricks, and solutions to fix low FPS issues in Counter-Strike 2. The first step is to diagnose the root cause of low FPS in CS2. Here are some things you should check. Make sure your PC meets or exceeds the minimum and recommended system requirements for CS2. Having outdated components like an old GPU can drastically reduce FPS. You can find the official system requirements on the CS2 Steam Store page or website. Compare the CPU, RAM, storage, and especially graphics card against the listed requirements. If your PC falls below the recommended specs, upgrading hardware may be required for optimal performance. Use a system monitoring tool like MSI Afterburner to view your CPU and GPU usage when playing CS2. Launch Afterburner before starting the game. Once in-game, bring up the Afterburner overlay by pressing a hotkey you set. Pay close attention to the CPU and GPU usage percentages shown. If either is hitting 100% consistently, that component is bottlenecking performance. Too many background processes can consume CPU and memory resources needed for optimal CS2 performance. Open Task Manager while playing and check CPU usage of processes. Any that are taking up a high percentage when CS2 is open are likely limiting FPS. Make a note of such processes. Then close other programs and disable unnecessary startup processes like browser apps and background utilities. Outdated graphics drivers can heavily impact FPS and cause stability issues like crashing. Open Device Manager and check your GPU driver's version. Then visit the NVIDIA or AMD website and download the latest driver for your specific graphics card model. Also update Windows chipset and other system drivers for maximum performance and compatibility. Keeping all drivers updated ensures CS2 interacts properly with your hardware. There are several in-game settings you can adjust to significantly improve FPS in CS2. As mentioned earlier, settings like shader detail, shadow quality, and anti-aliasing are very demanding. Open the video settings while in-game and lower these to medium or low quality to optimize FPS. Each of these settings directly impacts GPU load. So lowering them can provide drastic FPS gains, especially if your GPU is bottlenecking performance. You may lose some visual quality and the game won't look as sharp, but it will run much faster. Ambient Occlusion, AO, adds enhanced lighting effects, but has a huge performance cost. AO renders advanced shadows and lighting between objects, which looks nice, but is extremely taxing on your GPU. Simply disabling AO entirely can potentially boost FPS by 30 plus on lower end systems. There is usually minimal visual difference, but the FPS gain is very noticeable. If playing at 1440p or 4K resolution, lowering the render resolution to 1080p will drastically improve FPS. The resolution scale slider in video settings directly controls rendering resolution. Lowering it renders the game at a lower res, then upscales it to your full monitor resolution. Visually, it will appear slightly more blurry though since the image is essentially stretched to fit your native res. But the FPS gains are substantial. AMD's Fidelity X Super Resolution FSR uses advanced upscaling algorithms to boost FPS with minimal visual impact. Similar to lowering resolution scale, FSR renders the scene at a lower internal resolution, then uses intelligent scaling methods to upscale and sharpen the image back up to native res. This can give huge FPS gains, especially on weaker GPUs. Enable FSR in CS2's video settings and experiment with quality versus performance modes depending on preference. Besides in-game settings, you can optimize your system resources to dedicate more power towards CS2 and enhance FPS. Steam launch options like High and Threads can boost CS2 priority and CPU utilization. Right-click CS2 in your Steam library and go to Properties. Then Set Launch Options. Here you can enter commands like Dash High to force CS2 to use high priority CPU threads. Dash Threads Hash manually specifies how many CPU threads CS2 should use. Add these to the Launch Options box for CS2 and Steam to gain more FPS. As mentioned earlier, too many background apps and processes hamper performance. Use Task Manager to view all open processes. Close any unnecessary ones before launching CS2. 
Too many processes hog CPU and memory that CS2 needs to run smoothly. Only keep critical background processes like audio drivers or antivirus active. Overlays like NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Share drain resources by recording gameplay or showing metrics overlaid on screen. Open the NVIDIA control panel and disable instant replay, recording and streaming functions of share overlay. Also disable any monitoring apps like MSI Afterburner. Any overlays active while playing CS2 take up GPU resources needed for optimal frame rates. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel, or share it to your friends, this can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this to others.